Hey Little Ant by Philip and Hannah Hoos. Illustrations by Debbie Tilly. Hey Little Ant. Looks like the ant is relaxing on a leaf while the boy is relaxing in the grass. Hey Little Ant. Philip and Hannah Hoos. Illustrations by Debbie Tilly. Kid. Hey, little ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe. Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. That's not very nice, is it? Ant. Please, oh, please do not squish me, he said. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh, please don't make me die. Looks like he's carrying grocery bags to go home to his ant family. Kid, anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. Ant, but you are a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Kid, are you crazy? Me? Like you? I have a home and a family too. Do you think the ant might have a home and a family? But the kid says, you're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. But the ant said, Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nestmates need me because I am strong. And look, there he is tucked into bed with some other ants in the leaves. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. And the ant's table is made of a bottle cap. Kid, but my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Ant, hey, I'm not a crook kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my whole town. So please don't make your shoe come down. Look at those ants. They're really strong and all six of them are working together to carry that chip back to their ant town. Kid, but all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. Not a very nice game. They're looking at me. They're listening too. They all say I should squish you. Ant, I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Imagine that if the ant was big and the little boy was, was small. Would it be okay for the ant to squish him? Definitely not. Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? What do you think? Should he squish the ant because it's a fun game and his friends tell him to? Or no, 